Hello everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel, Promoting Safety Engineering. This is Sean Toby. Thank you for being back here. And um, yeah, I know I've been away for a while, but uh, it's been so busy this past couple of weeks with the pandemic and all. And um, yeah, so thank you for coming back. Um, I had uh, a couple of comments on some, uh, some videos ago, and uh, I just thought about it today. And... I said, yeah, it would be good to make a video on that. So thank you, one of my viewers, for the comments. You said that um, the comment was mainly about uh, if you have a hazard that there are up to like 40, 50, 60 nodes, how do you separate the, the, the colors? And I, I, I did a response on it, but I, I said I should do a video to really look into that and tackle that. So this should be quite a brief video that I'm just going to talk about, um, that I'm going to be talking about how you can mark up your nodes in various numerous ways to so that if you have a really, really large number of nodes, you can give all of them separate distinct colors. So I'm going to quickly go into that. Remember, uh, also, before I go too far, this is my channel, Promoting Safety Engineering, and please make sure you do subscribe. So let's say I'm just going to use just this one page, but I'm going to show you different ways you can do that with Adobe Acrobat and show various colors on uh, on this. And so what we're going to be doing is doing pat patterns and colors. So, uh, okay, so let's say we start out with... Um, we want to highlight this if um for reference you can look at my other video uh marking up um how to mark how to electronic and electronically mark up pnids so let's say you start with this so this is just something close to that but with a lot more flair so um go to properties and you can of course adjust the colors so you do this you can make it orange you can make it navy blue you can make it uh, red and then you have to handle the opacity you don't want it to like if I make it a hundred now when you see it it would entirely cover anything underneath like if I move this line it's gonna cover all the writings underneath and you don't want that so you come here you make the opacity 50 so it's kind of transparent and you can still see then you can also increase the thickness of the line so you can make it about 10 so it looks nice so this is still a, i think it's still 100 yeah so i want to make it 50 so you can see through and see whatever is underneath because that's very necessary this is um, better than marking up with a with a marker but hey so we have this this is red of course so i would getting deeper and deeper and more complex as I go along. So that's the first color. I'm going to try a second color now, uh, just for this stretch. And voila, this is blue. I'm going to try a third color for this stretch. And to do this, so up to that, but I would go to the properties and make it something like, um, yeah, this green. Yes, so you have three colors now. And then I could come here and, of course, do this as another node. Of course, you know, this. this are like nodes, but it's just to explain how you can make them into different colors. And in case you have a really large number of nodes and you don't want the colors coincide in, uh, you, go, you can use all the colors in here or the entire co um, colors in the spectrum or in the... So I can use this brown. Can you see it has a different look? When you stretch it out, it may look a little bit alike now, but when you stretch it out, you'd see that there's a lot of difference. Like that. I'm gonna add another color now. Probably maybe light blue. So we go to light blue. Yes, yeah, something like this. And can you see it's really different from this blue? Look, look at them side by side. You can mix that up unless, I don't know. And then we go to something like, um, let me try another color. 
there are lots of colors to pick from of course and then uh, we can do have we tried a yellow or a purple yeah so this are just plain black colors so now i want us to look it, it's going to the middle of it and try something different so let's say um coming with this i'll just copy it and paste it and bring it here but i want to show you a different way you can make it look so you go back to properties and you go to the style this is a really powerful tool because you it would definitely look very different like see can you see that there's a difference within the two of them and if that it doesn't make you happy enough i'll just drop this here and then i'll work on that and choose another you know another dotted line yeah i could do this so this two definitely look very different so in your node you would be able to see the difference and i could still copy it and bring it down here and choose another type of dotted line like hey okay no not this i can make it like this or like this no that's a little too too similar yeah so can you see the difference i can make this really tiny also so there's a difference between this between this and between this and if you know what you're doing you should be able to spot that but hey let's not get too um carried away just doing dot dotted lines so now you can also go in there and do something different like you can see this feel color that could be very very helpful and this is would change the game totally so what you want to do with this is now you wouldn't be able to use your lines to do this what you have to do is to use your squares so you do like uh you make like a square and then you work on that go to properties and then you handle the fill color the fill color so you can make the outskirts um let's say red and you make the internals blue make the opacity 50 and then you work on the you work on the lines you can make the lines this way and then you have another node and this, so this has some red and it has some blue and you can do the same again make another square just here and do the same with it so i can make this um let's say purple and the fill color would be um, i did purple yellow so can you see i should have talked touched on the outskirts of this so make it about five so hey we have another node okay let me make this opaque oh the, yeah uh it's less opaque and ha that's another node and just like that you can get really creative with it you can get like 100 mixtures of colors i can come in here and do up to all the way from there to there and work on that properties and just go to thickness and make the outside uh outside color um let's say let's say uh green and then make the internals mm, uh, i'm not a color expert but hey make the internals red and make it up 50. hey what have you got they're all different 
and then you do let me just do one more but I, I i believe you all get the message now so that's how i do it when i have like really really lots of nodes to work on you mm, can do this and then as i said you can also work on the yeah you can also work on that and uh, make the opacity 50 and uh outskirts you can make it uh yellow and then the internals you can make it great hey mm, i'm not a color expert but you understand what i'm saying now so you can do all sorts and have different combinations i've done one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 11 12 and you can keep on mixing the colors all you have to do is not mess up your um not mess up your oh sorry i want to just copy this control c and do this control v so that you get your key accurately you put that up there control c control v you don't want to mess up the legend so hey you do that and then you of course stick stuff like this bring it here you know and this is just a dope there are other um pdf softwares that you can get really creative with and you can mix colors in crazier ways That's another mix, and you can do this. And hey, that's another mix. So you can all put them all up there and then give them uh, node one, node two, node three, node four, node five. And uh, where's my text box? Uh, Yeah. So hey, we could do this. Uh, let me make that bigger. Uh, Fourteen. Fox. Um, node. One. Just highlight it and make it bigger so you just come in here and do that and take it up there and so just type away come up here type your node come in here type node one node two node three node four node five all the way and yep so that's it um thank you very much for watching my channel promoting safety engineering and um yeah thank you everyone please like the video that really helps me get more views and stuff it helps people locate uh, the videos easily on the youtube algorithm so please like my videos and subscribe to the channel once again my name is sean toby thank you very much and this is promoting safety engineering have a lovely one